Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ca Cameron D. Ryan 1 is the YouTube of the day. So, or, or was the YouTube of the day yesterday. Actually, could he be the YouTube the day today too? Kind of like, so we can have, you get two for, two for, two for the price of one. I'm rolling up my sleeves here, getting rocking and rolling here with the uh, real uh, Locker Gnome Daily Report, the official TLDR. I know, it's short for too long, didn't read, but hopefully you are reading. We've got a few articles posted on LockerGnome.com today. Five cool Kindle Touch covers. Best free Android apps for reading American newspapers. Corsair Vengeance 1500 Gaming Headset Review. Five geeky model rocket kits. How to install Windows games on Linux. How to run multiple EVE online clients on OS X. And then we've got a couple of teasers, including to yesterday's vlog, where I say we have a strange fetish. Now, many of you would say, oh, Chris, you spelled fetish wrong. No, I didn't. Because we were wearing Boba Fett hoodies. Boba Fett. Fetish. Half of you guys probably didn't even know I spelled fetish incorrectly. Part of a play on words. Well, of course, we also have the backlink of the day. I forgot to mention the backlink of the day, and I believe the backlink of the day yesterday was created by the same guy who's the YouTube. -y. Cameron D. Ryan One. Yeah. Is that who it is? I absolutely forgot. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those uh, Locker Gnome links so we can get on with our day. Oh, ooh, wow. This is kind of neat. Head over there. Uh, it's linked in the video's description. Five cool Kindle Touch covers. Before I forget, let me go over here and G plus one it. And, ooh, let's see here who else G plus one did. Uh, and we can also spread it on Facebook if you want, and Twitter. Uh, Star Wars Kindle cover. I didn't even realize. Look, it's a Star Wars Kindle cover right there. Clever Case Classic Book Cover for Kindle. Oh, so you can make it look like a classic book. Uh, smart, smart. Solar Cover for Kindle Touch. Neat. So you can charge up your Kindle. But actually, out of all of those, this is the one I would most likely buy. And you know I'm a fan of Star Wars and everything. Oh, there's a, a Dr. Seuss Kindle cover and a Leather Steampunk Kindle touch case. Oh, it's so neat. I would skip right past Star Wars and get that one. Which one would you get, hon? Uh, the book. You'd get the classic book? Wow. <laughs> yeah, see, then that's neat. But I, there's something about the utility of the uh, uh, the solar cover for Kindle touch. Of course, we've got all the links there on the Locker Gnome article. Take a look if you are a Kindle fan. That's neat. And, of course, spread the love if you like. Best free Android apps for reading American newspapers. Let's take a look. U.S. newspapers right there. So you can catch up on the Wall Street Journal, USA Today, New York Times, Los Angeles Times, the Washington Post, Daily News, New York Post, Mercury News, Chicago Tribune, Houston Chronicle, and the Arizona Republic. Did you guys see that I read a newspaper the other day? I think some people were shocked. We get the Sunday paper for the comics uh, and the uh, uh, coupons. The two C's, comics and coupons. Otherwise, why would we get a newspaper, really? Uh, there's another one here, Newspaper USA, Pulse News. You know, I tried Pulse News. I didn't like it. I can't be the only one who did not like Pulse News, though. Uh, News Republic, there's another app there. So I, you guys, Android fans, you want some newspaper apps uh, specifically to connect you to uh, American newspapers, we've got the links for you in the best free Android apps for reading American newspapers article. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it. See, I hover over it, and I can see James Swanson and John McKinley. That's this damn Scotsman had uh, plus one it as well. Hopefully, you guys are sharing the articles. I believe that we are creating value for you beyond the videos that we do on YouTube. Uh, looks like we have a Corsair Vengeance 1500 gaming headset review. Now, I, I've talked about different gaming headsets in the past. Uh, ooh, there, there it is right there. It's a big headset. And for those of you who like gaming, you may want to check into this. Uh, Corsair, of course, is no stranger to the gaming scene. I'm going to go ahead and plus one that. See, even I plus one articles. You should as well, and hopefully you do. If, if you if you share it on Facebook, cool. Twitter, awesome. Email, great. Pinterest, sure. But uh, the, the Google plus one is the big deal because, you know, that basically impacts your search results. And so if you've circled me anywhere, you know, you'd know that the content we publish on Locker Room is good stuff. Let's move on to the five geeky model rocket kits. Oh, I'm going to love this article. <laughs> There's a video on it. Uh, ooh, SpaceX Falcon 9. Hang on, let me zoom in here so you can see the picture a little closer. Of course, you could also pull up the article in the, uh, the video's description below. Wow. SpaceX Falcon 9. There's the SD's 2157 Saturn V or Saturn V. Uh, egg. What is that? Egg Scalibur? Oh, Egg. Excalibur, get it? It's a play on words. Uh, the D region tomahawk. Wow, dude, who 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 blogged this? Matt Ryan. It, Matt, I didn't realize you were a model rocketry enthusiast. We tried it a long time ago, like when I was a kid, like we, as in my family. 
Uh, I think it failed, though. We sent, like, a little one of those little plastic parachuters up, and I think it exploded and he died. Not that plastic figurines can die or anything, but uh, I think that was the last time I played with model rocket kits. Got a few geeky model rocket kits over there for you to take a look. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot, guys. You guys didn't remind me. Uh, I need to plus one it. G plus one. It is plus one. I have to remember to do that. I forget. I know everyone, we all forget, like, to like this video. I forgot to like this video. Okay, I'm liking this video. I've tweeted it out, I've Facebooked it out, and now I'm moving on to the next article on LockerGnome.com, how to install Windows games on Linux. Wow, for those of you guys who are complaining that we don't publish enough content about Linux, hello, Windows games, Linux, what are we missing here? Nothing. We've got the full instructions right here on the website for you to take a look at. Because I know there are many gamers in the community, and many of them say, hey, why don't you do more on Linux? We do. Oh, hang on, plus one. Okay, get that out of the way. Now, back to the laundry list. How to run multiple EVE online clients on OS X. I didn't realize you could do this, or why you would do this, really. Um, but apparently, you would do this because... Oh. Huh. Interesting. Sorry, I'm reading right now. I, I know, it's TLDR, too long, didn't read. But I enjoy reading. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, I think you guys might like that. If you play... EVE Online, whether you play EVE Online on uh, OS X or not. Oh, I didn't think there were games on uh, OS X. There are games for the Mac. You can get them right now. I play games on the Mac all the time. Granted, most of them are within the web browser, but still, okay, uh, now that we've covered most of the uh, stuff that uh, we've written about on Locker Gnome today, we have a webinar coming up after this broadcast, uh, specifically to help those of you who are trying to make money online with sales and marketing. That's going to be led by uh, Jerry Hobby and myself. It'd be kind of fun. Thank you, Chris. You are live on YouTube. Thank you, History797. Uh, what camera did Chris use for the fork dog spoon knife cam? Asks Ryan M5671. Uh, what did I use? Just the regular old pocket cam, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Stream is better, or Steam is better, in my opinion, versus Goofwall. Has a cleaner UI. Interesting. I play Adam online. Bioshock joke. Dances out. Hey, Outsanity. How you doing? Uh, we go way back to friend feed a long time ago. What do you believe is the ideal screen size for a notebook? I think it depends on what you're doing. Uh, Tobre asking that question. Uh, I like a larger screen size. So I'd, I personally prefer 15 or 17 inches. Uh, some people are fine with a smaller screen size as long as the computer itself is more portable. So it's lighter weight since it has a smaller screen size. Hopefully, we wouldn't be able to have the trade-off at some point in the future. Uh, thank you, Celtic Boy 999 He says, I like. Thumbs up once again. Legend Chris. Wait, are you reading this, Chris? Says Prestige Shots. Yes, I am. And Diana is more than likely making funny little... Are you making funny little side remarks? No. You're just sitting there and smiling? Today's a serious day. Today's a serious day. Don't screw around. Uh, this is the fastest TLDR yet. Yes, because I believe in getting it out there and getting on with our lives. So, uh, you know, I got I gotta bring something up. This is an interesting uh, bit of news that's hit the wire. Ninety nine dollar Xbox three sixty plus Connect. It's uh apparently launching next week with a two year subscription. So if you're willing to pay Microsoft like fifteen dollars a month, you can get an Xbox three sixty with a Connect. At, for $99. And I actually, I think that's a smart way of going. I've argued so many times that it's not the hardware that's worth anything. This is worth nothing. I mean, yes, it's expensive and it costs something. It's the software and the experience that will ultimately make more money. Forget the hardware. Forget it. I mean, even Microsoft sees it. $99 Xbox 360 plus Connect, as long as you pay $15 a month. So, April's right. You don't really save that much. True. But how many people are going to buy that? Amazon may not be making a lot of money with their Kindle hardware, $200. But they pull you into their services. They get you to buy more from Amazon. They get you to buy Amazon Prime, which, of course, we subscribe to. Love it. It pays for itself, uh, I swear, every week, Amazon Prime. Uh, so, look at that. Texas in July did the math. 15 times 24 equals 360 plus 99, four, uh, $459. But for those people, now think about this. For those people who want an Xbox 360 but aren't willing 
to pay Xbox 360 prices today can get in at $99. If they can afford $15 a month. So I don't think it's an amazing deal. It's interesting Microsoft's doing it. I think it's the right way to go. In fact, I would say give the Xbox away and uh, just charge people for a subscription. And I think that's uh, the way they, they could very well go at some point. Because they're trying to get more Xboxes into the houses, right? So how to do it? Well, you just drop the price. This is why you watch commercials and you see uh, people uh, selling, or people, uh, companies selling smartphones for free. Selling smartphones for free, that's about as stupid as saying people are selling them. Buy one, get one free, or here, here's one free. The reason why they're giving it to you is because it pulls you into their service. And when it pulls you into the service, they make more money for you. From you, for you. I don't think I've made any money from this at all. But at and oh, they've raked me over the coal. That is for sure. Would, but I prefer Steam. Computers and iPhone than consoles. Also, I don't think you can play Asteroids, Pac-Man, and Looter Lander on Xbox. That is true. But that's also why I have a meme machine on the other side of my home office that you saw me playing the other day in the vlog. No, it's not a great deal lower than 15 to below than 10. I will think about it. Eh, well, maybe a wee bit. That can happen. Uh, and with more Xboxes, there will be more Xbox Live accounts, Zune accounts, and people buying games. Bingo! Telling you, man, the Xbox is worth nothing. It's the games and the entertainment and that entire experience that Microsoft is trying to sell you on. You guys understand exactly what that means? The hardware itself is just a gateway to selling you more stuff. And it's not just Microsoft. Sony should be doing the same thing. So should Apple. Amazon. Google, anybody selling hardware wants to sell you the hardware to get you to buy into the software, which of course is games and services and everything tied to that ecosystem. I think this is huge news, to tell you the truth. Big, big news. Even if you're not, you know, really, you know, impressed with what Microsoft's doing, it is a huge deal. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ooh, ooh. X Chims says get naked. All right. <laughs> well, that's what YouTube said. I gotta listen to YouTube. Hang on. Jeez and crackers. You guys are just so freaking. Give me a second. God, don't look. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, hang on. I'm taking off my pants here. How many other people do this here? I wish YouTube wouldn't do this to me. I really do. This is horrible. There's my pants. There you go. Oh, socks too. There you go. Another sock. There we go. I am now naked. Fine. How's that for extreme whiteness? Are you happy now? Nothing wrong with this. I mean, I could go out and sunbathe because it's sunny here in Seattle. It, it is. It really it's sunny. Why must YouTube ask me to get naked? Why must I listen to YouTube? <sighs> <sighs> Sorry for scaring half of you away. Although, wow, hang on. It actually climbed. Look at that. <laughs> you guys are strange. A little creeped out right now. No doubt you are too. And if you fast forwarded to this part in the video and you're wondering what happened, you should watch the whole damn thing. If you think that's weird, you should see our vlogs. All right, so why YouTube? Why? Haha. <laughs> Theoutsanity.com says contrast. Yeah, you got to adjust your contrast. You got to like uh, reverse it. Wow, like 50 people joined. Exactly, BB Blood Brother CCCX. It's insane. <laughs> 255 viewers. That's, that's great. Dude, I'm watching it get naked. It's late. Not cool. Not cool. Sorry. Sorry. It won't happen again. Unless, of course, YouTube asks for it. In which case, kind of got to do it. I just got here. What is going on? Asks the Savage 042. This is why you should join Nomi's. Yeah, because they can see me from the other side. Not really. It's a joke. Uh, okay, so now that we've covered a bit of news, let's see what else. Oh, it's official. Target will phase out all Kindle-branded products this spring. 
It's interesting. Uh, I wonder if it's uh, because they're selling iPads that uh, Amazon doesn't want them to sell Kindles or they don't want to sell Kindles because of that. Uh, it's a little odd that they would do something like that. Uh, you know, to me, it's I guess it's strange. Maybe people just aren't buying Kindles at, at Target. Did you guys? Where'd you guys get your Kindle? Did you guys get a Kindle? I don't know if uh, who else got. Did you? You you haven't ever gotten a Kindle, have you, hun? No. no. We don't. Uh, we don't. She has the Kindle app, as do I. I, I have a Kindle app, and I, I download books frequently. Uh, the the books that uh, Amazon gives for free, uh, I'd say every day. I use an If This Then That subscription to tie in. Uh, you guys have heard of If This Then That before. I've talked about it. Uh, let's see here. What else is in the news today? Uh, oh, Will Wheaton is supremely pissed off, uh, and he even blogged it. Uh, he, he noted that Google is getting rid of the thumbs up, thumbs down buttons, or the like, dislike button, and for a small fraction of the audience, replacing it with a G plus like button. And I know that many of you like the dislike button. I know you do. I'm, I've never used the dislike button, ever. Even if I didn't like something, my version of a dislike button is to turn around and walk away. Honestly, I don't, uh, I don't really, I thought you said this was serious. <laughs> she put a yay down there. Oh, it's good news. Uh, explosive X X five six says F Will Wheaton. Oh, shouldn't have shown that. Sorry, didn't mean to offend people. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna offend anybody on YouTube by showing them that. <clears throat> For some reason, I can't stay connected. Sorry, wee bit. I hate to see that. Daniel Bushler has to go. See ya. Find it odd they're a regular retailer. Why not carry both and reach more people? Yeah, for the Kindles, Chris. That's, yeah, that's what I thought. It's a little nuts. Refurbished Kindle Fire is 139 right now on Amazon's Fire Deal. Thank you, Ryan Peterson. Really appreciate that. Uh, that is that's good news. Although I, you know, the Kindle Touch, I, I, I not, I don't want to buy it because I would never use it. I've got one Kindle and it's always out of battery. And I use the Kindle app. I mean, I, I think it's largely for the content, less for the actual uh, piece of hardware. It's a little strange to me, though. Um, so let's go ahead and. See what else is in the news to have some more discussion as this live video feed rolls on. Did you guys catch any other uh, headlines from the world of geekery? Let's see here. Some interesting uh, Amazon, speaking of Amazon, they're getting into the sitcom business. Okay. German court says Motorola can block Xbox Windows, but U.S. court stands in way. Pirate Bay enjoys 12 million, million traffic boost, shares unblocking tips. Verizon's LTE-powered in-home broadband goes national. Huh. That's interesting. Pebble Smartwatch gets its first app partner, RunKeeper. Spotify finally shows up on the iPad. Did you guys buy a, a, a Pebble? I had, uh, this is what it is. Here, let me pull it up. This is the Pebble right here. It's a little watch, like a smartwatch of sorts, and they've got like an API and a platform for you to develop against. I bought one. I don't have a watch. Uh, I never carry a watch, but they are allegedly going to have connections between this watch and like an iPhone or any other type of device like that. And so you could coordinate different things with it. I think it'd be kind of neat to try. It, it, it was worth it. You know, I like uh, kicking interesting products. So uh, I think I pledged... I think I pledged 100. Yeah, I selected right there. See, I, I'm not just saying it. I selected 115 or more to back it, and it's hot. Like this, th these people. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You can still get. You can still back this if you want the Pebble Watch. Look, they only wanted 100 thousand dollars. They have 54 thousand backers. 16 days to go. You can still get a Pebble. So uh, stay tuned for that uh, Pebble to be, uh, I guess, popped into either a live TLDR episode here on YouTube or. Uh, potentially in the vlog. Show it in the vlog, says every subject 100. I probably will. Virgin Meter, uh, Virgin Meter, Virgin Media blocked the Pirate Bay. European Space Agency have approved billion euro satellite to Jupiter moons. Wow. Io, that's my favorite moon of Jupiter. Io. What's your favorite moon, hon? Um, Io. You like Io too? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I liked it yeah. first. Yeah. Diana liked it first. I'm a copycat. Uh, see here, it's only available for select partners. Kickstarter video game pro. Oh yeah, uh, Robert Wildman brings up that someone on Kickstarter cheated 
and uh, they ended up getting, uh, I guess, they may get sued oh, no. because they cheated. They lied about uh, what they did, and they took people's money. But, of course, the money didn't transfer because their project didn't actually get funded, really. Hello from Kansas, says Flewdog93. Howdy! How you doing? Uh, port the Xbox games to Nintendo and PlayStation LOL. You know, I've long believed that Nintendo would be wiser to port their games to the different platforms. That's, you know, to me, that's where their IP is, right? What's keeping them from uh, bringing Mario or Zelda to iOS? Well, really, uh, one thing, uh, their hardware. But if people stop buying Nintendo's hardware, what's Nintendo going to do? Well, they're going to do what Sega did and basically release it on any platform they possibly could to make money. They don't want to go out of business. They're not crazy. <sighs> Hello from London. Howdy. Well, I'm not from London. I'm from Seattle. Even though today we have some uh, a cameo in the, in the vlog. Did you guys catch yesterday's cameo in the vlog? As some of you guys did. We had David DeFranco. There's a little surprise in the middle. We just kind of threw it in there to kind of throw up. You throw up, change it up. And I realize a lot of our vlogs are like throw up, and we apologize for that. Uh, I can't even read that. What the hell does that say? It's like blue against red. What is that? Red, white, and blue. Oh, red, white, and blue. Hippie. Oh, yippie. I thought it said hippie. Thought she was calling me a hippie. Uh, let's see here. Apple is rejecting apps that use the Dropbox functionality. Funvid69, that is true. They're currently doing that, but uh, they're apparently working with Dropbox to resolve that situation. So hopefully uh, that is just... Uh... Is my computer about to take off? Can you listen to that? You hear that? I'm not even doing anything. I'm just... Oh, I know why. Because uh, Flash. Flash is a CPU killer. This is the reason I hate Flash on any platform. I want Flash to die. Die, Flash. Jeez, die already. Dang, man. I just wish that Flash would die. That's th There's some news I would love to cover. Flash dying. That's Who wouldn't want that? Well, Adobe probably wouldn't want that. But beyond Adobe, who wouldn't want Flash to die? See if we've got a couple other questions. Uh, what are your thoughts on SSD prices and when you think they will become cheaper? Would you put one in your Mac Pro? Asked Connor from Nomies. I do have one in my Mac Pro. In fact, I uploaded those SSD videos a long time ago. My thoughts, uh, I think you know, within years, they'll be cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. I mean, it just takes time, really. That's It's just like with any piece of hardware. It's, it's new, it's expensive. It's older, it's less expensive. What do you think of Target stopping? Oh, we already addressed that. We talked about Target and Kindles and whatnot. I think it's, if they're not selling it, if uh, they've got some other kind of deal that they're trying to work out and Apple's saying we won't carry, Apple's probably doing this. They're saying if you carry Kindles and Target, we're going to pull out of uh, uh, our, our, our agreement. That's probably what it is. That's my guess, uh, is what App Apple's probably doing that. But Target probably doesn't want to sacrifice Apple in that particular conversation either. People try to use and use the lack of flashes as an excuse for the reason they hate the iPhone. I agree, Scottish Tech Kid 98. I've never had a problem with that. Diana's run into some issues though with that. I don't know why. Yeah. I, I'm just not a I'm not a fan of flash at all in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but the good news is we've got 268 of you guys watching now with 154 likes. There's a there's a hundred of you missing. Maybe a hundred of you don't know where the like button is. Maybe they don't have a like button. That's probably what it is. I, I don't know why. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Actually, I'm going to vlog this. I'm, I'm, hang on. Give me a second. I'm going to vlog it. You guys are going to get vlogged. Give me a second. This is how I vlog. Just setting up the shot. Ooh, let's, let's decrease the brightness. That's really bright. And you can see my reflection. This is weird. Hang on, you guys, smile. You're being vlogged. I know, though, thousands of you are enjoying the daily vlogs that we do on the YouTube channel. Some of you guys still like talking about tech and all things geeky, so 
Every day we're still streaming live. Got 263 of you watching now with 186 likes. Thank you so much for that. And there's Diana. You've seen her record from her angle there in uh, a few other of our uh, vlogs or earlier vlogs. Thank you, by the way, for the likes on the vlogs. This is what uh, the camera looks like. Or this is what I see, really, and as well as a preview to make sure I'm completely in frame. And then there's uh, a, an old shot of espresso. Actually, it's, it's gone now. I drank it. And there is the Nomi's chat right there. All fun and dynamic. And there's me in my underwear. And if you're wondering why, well, maybe you should have watched today's live TLDR broadcast. It's still on YouTube. And then that clip uh, will make it into the vlog. And then you guys can watch. And you say, I was there when the vlog, it was, the, I was, I was watching live when it happened. You probably don't say that, I'm, I'm guessing though. Pod 2G is very close to completing 5.1 jailbreak for A5 devices on iPhone and iPad. What do you think of jailbreaks should be waiting for firmware 6? Asked Jakester2014. Hey, if you want to do it, go for it. Uh, Mine Lemon asks, AM, AM3? I think he meant AMD Phenom 2 X6-1090T. AM3? Or in, did they rebrand themselves and I missed it? Maybe they did. I, I always knew them as AMD. But okay. Battle Royal on OS. What is the best one for all purposes? There is none. That's a trick question. I hate trick questions. I like giving trick answers, though. Those are, those are fun. Uh, any other questions from the community? Let's check before we uh, close out this TLDR broadcast. Short though it was due to a live hiccup at the beginning. Uh, we, you know we do these live broadcasts every day. And you can go back and watch them after they're broadcast. And if you really want to bring up something in that broadcast, all you have to do is participate, ask the question, comment. You, you just interact with us. It's really not difficult. I'm checking LockerGnome.net right now. Uh, people are asking uh, what Linux apps are available to play Windows games. Well, we just wrote up that article on LockerGnome.com today. Good Mother's Day gifts, another question. Uh, mm, well, it depends on your mom. I don't think there's a blanket best Mother's Day gift. Uh, we got my mom something that she'll appreciate. No, she. I'm not going to give it away. Uh, but instead of sending her flowers, she would rather have seeds. To plant flowers, she, you know, it's it's not just the destination; it's the journey for her. So that that would be my answer for that. Uh, how loud is too loud? Uh, Chris Perillo, that's the uh, that's the answer to that question. Is there such a thing as a pointless question? Yes, there is, and I think they just asked it. Let's see here, check any other questions that I might be able to answer there on LockerGnome.net. See if you ask the question there, I'll be able to catch it that day. Uh, I also watch Twitter and Facebook and Google+, Plus, the Chris Chat, uh, TeamSpeak, Nomies, uh, LockerGnome.net. I check them all to make sure that we've answered uh, the questions that are really on your mind or you know, potentially talking about the news. We make these live daily broadcasts for you, uh, and so we really appreciate you uh, asking those, uh, those questions of us. Oh, AM3, CPU socket type. Duh. What was I thinking? Thank you, Spookyful. Star Wars or Star Trek? Have answered that question before, and you should know this answer by now. Star Wars. It's okay. Kinda, they didn't know. They won't know. We want to know your opinion on jailbreaks. Asks Yasia. I can't say his name, but I've already answered that question too. If you want to do it, do it. Not my. It's not my phone. Do you still use free my apps? Chris asks Apple Quadcore. Apple Quadcore, by the way, likes our vlogs. I see that he comments in our vlogs. Thank you again. By the way, this is funny. Free my apps was actually up in my uh, iPhone window. Look at that. Look how many points I have. They're gonna, you know, go uh, belly up in about six weeks, I guess, because you can only hold on to them for so long. But let's see. What did I? What have I gotten for free from free my apps? I think go.tagjag.com/slash/free-apps. Go there. I got FIFA 12, Madden NFL 12, Modern Combat 2, Nova 2, Madden NFL 12, FIFA Soccer 12. Let's see, one was for iPad, one was for uh, iPhone. Cut the Rope uh, Experimental or Experiments. Uh, Clear Vision, Elmo's Big Birthday. Hey, it was free. Uh, Call of Duty, 
Uh, that, I think that, that's their Zombies app. I got uh, The Adventures of Tintin, The Sims 3, Total Relaxation, Fluffy Birds, All in Yoga, Pat the Bunny, Reactable Mobile. That was worth $10 right there. I got it for free. Radio Alarm Clock, Max Payne Mobile, a Me Battle, All in Fitness, Grand Theft Auto 3, Dice Fight Pro, Jung Jungle Jewels, Wii Me, Avatar Creator, Ruru Run, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, and that was, I think, for the iPhone, Paper Desk, Dictionary.com, both for the iPhone and iPad, Math Blaster, Good Reader for iPhone, I already had the iPad version, Read It Later Pro, Angry Birds Rio, Fruit Ninja, Puss in Boots, Modern Combat 3, the other version, Fruit Ninja, Puss in Boots, the HD version, Platts vs. Zombies, the iPad version, Spider-Man, Angry Birds Space for both iPad and iPhone, Angry Birds Seasons, Fight Night, Champion, uh, Draw Something, uh, the paid version, of course, Angry Birds Rio HD, Dead Sp I got all these for free. You can too. Go to tagjag.com slash free apps. Tweetbot, Minecraft Pocket Edition, didn't pay a thing. Uh, Angry Birds Seasons, uh, Real Racing 2, Smash Cops, Skyfire, Web Browser, so I can watch Flash videos if I want. Cut the Rope, Fruit Ninja, Infinity Blade 2, and Tiny Wings. For free. Didn't cost me anything to get all those apps that I listed. Popular apps, I would say. In fact, I could have gotten more if I hadn't already purchased them before, which kind of makes me mad. I could have saved like 50 some odd dollars it had I waited, but I'd free my apps wasn't around. Go.tagjag.com slash free apps. Free apps. There you go. Dirty Logs wants to know, where's your wife? She's there. You can't see her. She's on the other side. Uh, so we've already named the, uh, uh, the, uh, are, you were upset about that? Um, about what? I don't know. You, you, you look, you kind of had this angry look on your face. I did? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you didn't. Maybe I was seeing things. I could have been seeing things. <laughs> I see things all the time. I see dead people. Hold on. Hold on? Okay, Why am I holding on? What am I waiting for? Um, I'm waiting for something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I, I was getting ready to close out the the, uh, the video here. Just kind of run through on all the questions that were asked. Although someone just asked what my favorite gaming console was. My favorite gaming console is iOS. It's portable. I can set it on my console and play it. Does that count? Can this count as a console? Why can't my iOS device count as a console? Why? I think that's fair to count it as a console. That's just me. That's, <laughs> Studio Infinitive says, no! And then a couple of items flagged as spam. Yay, iOS. Live show, Chris. How old is your wife? Retard in Harvard. That's a horrible username. Do you watch Big Bang Theory? You never ask a girl her age. Yes, I watch Big Bang Theory all the freaking time. No, it can't, Chris. Damn it! Well, it counts for me. I'm counting iOS as a console gaming platform. I play it in front of consoles. Does that count? I'm going to make it count. You know why? Because it's my live feed. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for visiting LockerDome.com and all the articles that we published for you. Thank you for sharing uh, those with everybody else you know. Thank you for sharing the link. I wish you guys would share the link to the live feed every day because we do this every day. Can't do it 24-7. That's what the live video feed at live.perello.com is for, which uh, we'll be uh, popping into here uh, after this particular live broadcast and after I put on my pants. Long story, and if you just started tuning in, you're just going to have to rewind and, and watch this full live video. Thank you for the likes on this live video. Thank you for the likes on the vlogs. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for asking questions. Thank you for loving geekery as much as we love geekery. Thank you for subscribing to the Locker Nomi Mill newsletter. Thank you for subscribing to me on all those social media networks, Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and what have you. Uh, and, uh, you know, thank you. It's really, I, it's really, I gotta say, we already did, well, we didn't really do Nomi the day. Ryan wasn't in the Nomi, he was the YouTube of the day. Yeah. He was the YouTube of the two days. Nomi of the day is CBMN. 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 There's CBMN. Who's CBMN? It's a new one to me. CB in Minnesota? Is that a network? Is that News Network? CBN? I think it's pronounced Kibben. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. Oh, it's uh, Creighton? Oh, it's Creighton. No, no idea. Lols. Indeed. Uh, before we tune out, someone just asked me a question here. Are you drunk? Ask Bill1423-1393. Uh, I am not. 
I am not. I do not have a drinking sponsor, therefore I can't drink. See, most people, like, you know, they need a sponsor for other things. Like, why would I drink? It's crazy. I'm an adult, though. I can make those decisions for myself. Yes, an adult who's wearing no pants. I realized, but thank you. So, uh, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, we continue to geek out, and sometimes, uh, I guess, we're playing royalty-free music 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. At uh, You're going to join us tomorrow for the live broadcast. You're going to watch the Go watch the vlogs. Watch every one of the vlogs. Yeah, we should make a we should make something like we make a thousand likes in one of the vlogs. What should we do? Um, what should we do with a thousand likes in one of the vlogs? Let's make him a, a deal. Um, we need ideas. Oh, we need ideas for. Well, that's what not. Do they see? What do you want to see for a thousand likes in the vlog, and then we'll do it. The majority rules. Majority rules, except you know we have the right to refuse. <laughs> yeah. The hell you ask for. Anyway. Uh, back to the whole ending of the video thing. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.